Farm. Hey, it's Russell Graves coming to you from the barn at Hackberry Farm, and I just got something in the mail, the Pluto Trigger. I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting for you to get here, so stay tuned and let's take a look at what all's in the box. So I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and there's there's two or three different manufacturers that make these camera triggers, and this this Pluto Trigger in particular, uh, it'll do our remote sound. It'll trigger via light and laser. Uh, water drops, all kinds of stuff. Most of the stuff I'll never use it for. But the one thing that I am interested in, does it work very good on lightning? And so that's why I bought it. I'm gonna try it this year, uh, during the, since we're coming into the storm season. So what I ordered, two things came in the box. I got the shutter release cable, which that's for the Canon cameras. That's what I shoot, so that's what I bought for it. Pretty, pretty economical package. It was uh, about $124 for both of these. And then I got the Pluto trigger. So without further ado, Let's see what's in the box. The one thing I, that I've noticed about boxes these days is that everyone boxes stuff like you're buying a brand new iPhone. They try to use that level of, of a, they try to use that level of, of sophistication when it comes to putting stuff in boxes. So, you know, it's a pretty nice box. Uh, it's packaged well. We've got the, uh, on top, we've got the instruction manual, which has QR codes for both the iOS app as well as the Android app. I haven't downloaded that yet, I will. And it's got a quick start guide and it's six, seven, eight steps. So it looks like pretty straightforward on how to uh, connect the Pluto to the camera and it's, it connects via Bluetooth. So that ought to be a pretty straightforward setup. And then here in the box, we have a little velvet pouch. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. Oh, okay, we've got several things. Number one, we've got a, a cord that connects to the PC socket on your camera. And I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to dig into that more. Then we've got another uh, adapter in this package. And this adapter, I've got some of these already, but this will allow you to put it on the hot shoe. I like that. I'm glad it came with one of those. And then we have a mini USB plug, and I'm sure that's for charging, so we'll try to charge it in a minute. And then next, I've got what appears to be like a laser. I'll have to dig into that. And that may, I may try to figure out how to, how to work with that. And I'm thinking from a nature photography standpoint, maybe like jumping frogs, or if I can figure out bats flying uh, into a bat house or something in one direction. This may have some pretty good applications for it, but that's what that looks like is a laser trigger. In fact, I know it is because on back it says danger laser light. So that's the laser trigger it comes with. I didn't know it came with that either. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, they got it packed in here pretty tight. Finally, the Pluto itself, this thing is pretty small. I'm not sure how these things work, but uh, it's, it's amazing that they even do work. So I'm this thing, it's, uh, as I look at it, it's just got a couple of lights on it. I'm not sure if it's charged or not. I'm not sure, I'll have to download everything, but it's got, uh, it's got a place to plug in and charge it. It's got a place for you to connect your camera. And then another little symbol, I'll have to look into that, see what that's for, but it looks pretty straightforward. It's got a sensor here, a couple sensors. Actually, I'm sure one of those is a lightning sensor as well as the, when you connect the laser to it. So they, those two things can connect to each other. And then a push button on top. Uh, again, I think this thing from an infrared remote, that's what that's for right there is the infrared remote to be able to fire your camera. So that's pretty handy as well. I've got some of those already. So I can see a lot of different uses. I'm thinking of a lot of different uses, whether setting up remote cameras on a nest or something that you can fire it with this. Or uh, it's got a sound trigger that may work as well. I, I'm thinking about how I can use that from a nature photography standpoint. And on the bottom here, it's got the quarter inch a 20 thread socket so we can screw that in and be able to uh, put that on top of our camera. So that's what all's in the box. I'll let you know how it goes. In fact, when we have our first thunderstorm, I'll take this out in the field and we'll see how it, how it performs as a lightning trigger. In the past, you know, lightning has been kind of hit or miss. You kind of have to, for me, I'd have to wait till, till like a, 
when it gets later in the day, so I can shoot at really low ISOs and shoot long exposures to hopefully capture some lightning. But with this thing, if I read the directions correctly and I read the reviews right, it ought to be able to capture lightning any time of the day by sensing the lightning, firing the trigger, and uh, or firing the camera, and then maybe make taking pictures of lightning a little more easier. So we'll see. Uh, again, first impressions, it looks like it's going to be a pretty simple setup. It's sure packaged well. It feels solid. I mean, everything is kind of there. It's a nice little piece of equipment. I appreciate its size. Uh, and then also, I think with this, this pouch that these uh, cords and laser light came in, that may be a good pouch to put everything in. So I'll let you know how it goes. Stay tuned for the follow-up video to this, and uh, we're going to put it through its paces the first thunderstorm we get here. Hey, if you like this video, check back every week. We'll have brand new videos on photo instructions, videos from in the field, webinars, all kinds of educational contents. And if you'd like to, sign up for our newsletter, hackberryfarmtexas.com. While you're there, we'll give you a free nature photography checklist that you can download and help keep yourself organized every time you go into the field. We'll see you next time.